Hi everyone, Piggy Hub here. I uh, just got a new video for you today. I haven't done one in uh, two weeks, I think, so I thought I'd just do an update for you all. Here's Gibson being very confident as always. He thinks it's dinner time, even though it's only four o'clock and they usually don't have dinner until about eight ish. He's uh, trying his luck today, aren't you, Gibson? Oh, you greedy piggy. You greedy piggy. And here's Badge coming over. Oh, he's such a cutie, aren't you, Badge? Oh, Gibson. All right, then. I have got a little bit of celery in my hands. So they can probably smell it. So I'll just snap it in half a second. Anyways, yeah, here are the cages today. Uh, Stanley and Monty are downstairs on the thinner card bedding. And Gibson and Badger are upstairs on fleece and towels today. So they're having a bit of a change around. And there goes Stanley again, getting a little bit naughty. Rumble strutting as usual after months. I'll move on to them in just a sec. I'll just talk about this cage and these piggies up here and then I'll move downstairs. So here we go. It's a piece of celery. Come on in. There you go. Oh, you cute piggy. And Badge, come on Badge. Come on Piggy. He's going to try and steal Gibsons now, you watch. Come on. You watch him steal Gibsons. And there you go. Oh Badge. Come on Gibbs. Over here. Come on. Oh, you are such a cutie, aren't you? They are loving this uh, new uh, little, I can't remember what it's called, wooden stand. They are loving it. They love sitting in there, especially Badger. He really loves that. So, um, four ninety nine, well spent right there. So really pleased with that. So as I said, here are the cages today. I have made a few little changes, including this by here. I've stuck another piece of Corex behind the hay rack because hay was coming out through the bars and falling onto the carpet. As you can see, there's a little bit on there at the moment, but usually. It's just a pile of hay all over the floor, especially from this hay rack as well. So the hay falls through the bars and onto the floor. So I've put a little bit of Corex behind this hay rack and behind this one as well. And it seems to be doing the trick. So really pleased with that. Here's Stanley and Monts down here. i uh, got a few updates for you after my last video last week. I was saying how... Stanley's become very um, aggressive and dominant towards Monty. Um, Stanley has always been the dominant piggy. And he is a little bit naughty and a little bit bossy. But in my last video, during those few days around when I filmed it, he was, he'd really upped his game. He was getting quite aggressive. He was running at Monty. He was jumping on him. He was mounting him. Um, he was getting quite aggressive. And it was starting to worry me because... This is exactly what happened with him and Badger, and I had to split them up. So, yeah, that's what was happening then. Literally about an hour after I took that video, Monty just... It was like a different pig. He just went absolutely nuts. It's as if he just had enough, and that was it. And every time Stanley went near him, he ran after him. He jumped on his head. He was trying to mount him you know, <laughs> jumping on his head and squashing him. And they did have quite a few, they were biting each other. They were circling around each other and teeth chattering and it was getting really, really, you know, aggressive. And I thought, I could not believe it was Monty because he is such, as you can see, he's such a lovely, laid back, happy, chilled piggy. And it was so weird to see him act like that. But ever since then, it was only for a couple of hours. Monty only did it for a couple of hours and then everything calmed down and since then things have been a lot better again. Things have gone back to normal. It's as if Stanley needed, he needed to be put in his place. And since then it's been a lot better. It's gone back to how it used to be. Obviously Stanley still rumble struts a bit and he's a little bit bossy but he isn't aggressive at all. And Monty's just gone back to being his usual self. It was really strange. It was as if he was just saying, right, that's it. I've had enough. Um, I'm going to fight back. I'm going to fight my corner. This isn't right. And it was really strange to see. He was like a completely different pig. 
it was like Stanley times a thousand. Honestly, it was. I've never seen these two fight, and um, so it was really strange. But it, I'm glad it happened actually, because things have now calmed down and things are a lot better down here. It's as if Stanley just needed somebody to stand up to him, and now he's just calmed down. So. Yeah, I wish I'd got it on camera, actually, because it would have been really interesting and people could have learnt quite a lot from it. I know I did. Um, there was no bleeding, no blood was drawn. They were just nipping each other. They were going up onto their hind legs and they were, you know, mounting, chasing, rumbling, teeth chattering, all the normal behaviour. It was just a bit shocking because I've never seen these two do it and I've never seen particularly Monty. I've never seen him show any signs of aggression before, so... It was very strange, but it's all over with now, and the last two weeks have been really good. And, uh, yeah, so, brilliant. So this is the cage down here. They're on the cardboard treaded bedding. I've literally just cleaned them and popped them back in. So, hello, baby. Oh, you're such a good piggy, aren't you? I've got a bit of salary for you guys, too. Let me pop it in a sec. I'm going to snap it in half. Oh, dear. Oh, gosh, it's strong. It's been in the fridge. Oh, I scared him. Monty, come on. Oh dear, here we go again. Rumble, rumble, rumble. It's just normal behaviour. Piggies. Let me put it in their dish a minute. Oh, it's hard to get in under here. It's quite tight. So, that's the problem with cleaning down here. Oh, Stanley. Stanley, Stanley, Stanley. Oh, such a bossy piggy. Sorry about that. That's the problem with these double stack cages. That's the only big issue I have with them is getting down into the bottom cage. I find it very difficult. When I'm cleaning them, I have to remove this grid by here so that I can get in and clean. Otherwise, it would be impossible. You have to really twist and go really narrow into that gap. And it does hurt my back quite a lot. So whenever I clean them, I remove that grid by there, which does make the cage quite unstable. So... I don't like to have the pigs in the top. I have to get all of them out just to clean one cage. But yeah. So these are working out really well. So that's brilliant. It'll save me vacuuming all the time because it's a nightmare trying to get the vacuum in here through that gap as well. So killing two birds with one stone there. Let me come back upstairs to these guys. Or as you can see, Gibson's under his hidey. I don't, I don't really know what to call it because it's not really an igloo. It's not really a hidey hut. It's just... It's a platform, as they call it. They haven't been on top of it yet. I haven't seen anyone on top of it yet. It does look pretty high. But it said on the packaging that they like to climb on top. I don't know. I haven't seen them up there yet. But Also up here, I'm trying them again on litter training them. Especially on fleece, it's a nightmare. They poop, they pee all over it. It gets really stinky. So I have used this before. It's like a cat uh, litter tray. I have used it before, but they're little menaces. They knock it out the way, they tip it over. So I've come up with a bit of a idea to try and keep it in place. I have, oh, it's very hard to explain. I drilled two holes into the litter tray. So two holes are right around here. I then popped two holes into the Corex and I tied string through the hole in the litter tray. And I tied it to the bars. I hope I've explained that well. I did try to cable tie it, but my cable ties weren't long enough. So I've tried it with string instead, which is probably better. Because every time I have to clean this litter tray out, which I will every day, because I'm trying to encourage them to poop and to pee in it. Which, mm, there's a few poops in there. Good boy, Gibson. Yes, there's a few poops. You are learning well. Um, <laughs> Sorry. It's probably a better idea to have string actually because every day I have to clean it so it's easy to just undo the string whereas with a cable tie you have to cut them off and then replace them so it's probably better but yes hopefully that'll work out now and the little buggers won't be able to move it because if you have guinea pigs you know that they like to headbutt things well mine do anyway they headbutt their tubes they headbutt their igloos and they move their stuff all over the place so this is really sturdy now in place it's not moving anywhere so I'm hoping that's going to work out now. I haven't done one down here because 
there's there's no point really. The whole bedding is the same thing. It's the same thing as card cardboard bedding. So it doesn't matter where they poop really. But on the fleece, I really want to try and encourage them to poop in one area. And if I can, to get them to poop not on the fleece. So I don't have to change it as often. I'm changing it every two to three days at the moment. But if they can learn to to use that and to stay in that, I will probably have to clean it out about four to five times. Uh, four, five days a week. Uh, oh, I can't speak. Every four to five days. God, what's wrong with me? I am sorry. <laughs> um... So that would be brilliant, and it wouldn't get a stinky or anything as well. So I don't know where Badge is. Oh, he's in Hello, Badge. He's cute, piggy. They've all had their nails cut. They've all been weighed. Um, Badger had his grease gland cleaned today. I uh, just popped him in the sink and scrubbed his bum with some shampoo. Uh, his It was very greasy. I'm not sure. It was very dirty. So I thought I'd better clean it today as I had them all out. I thought I might as well get it all done. So everybody's happy now. But yeah, they've all had their nails cut. They've all had a little manicure, haven't you, Gibbs? And I've weighed them all as well. I'm trying to weigh them every one to two weeks just to keep an eye on them. Uh, I do recommend you weigh your piggies if you can and keep a log of it, you know. The biggest sign of a ill guinea pig is when they start to lose weight and it can just be a couple of pounds but you don't notice you won't notice until they really have lost loads of weight and then it's too late then piggies shut down if they stop eating their whole system shuts down and that's it so really do keep an eye on them so that's why I think weighing is such a great idea so they're all pretty much around the same area these three are anyway Gibson is about 100 grams heavier but he is about eight months nine months older than them so uh he should be heavier really he's a chubby piggy he's absolutely lovely though he's such a lovely happy friendly piggy aren't you gibbs they've eaten up their celery i don't think these guys have oh no that's done oh monty's having a bit of a sleep oh such a cute piggy they love that hidey house they snuggle under there together so I was thinking of putting another igloo in, just in case, you know, one of them needed their space. But I put a, an igloo in, and they both still went under there. So <laughs> they, they dissed the igloo. They love their hidey house. Uh, again, haven't seen them go on top of it much. I think I've seen Stanley up there a couple of times. But they just like to go under it and just uh, hide under there. So I got that one off eBay. I'm not sure where. I'll have to have a look for you. If you are interested, I'm sure I can find where I got it. So that's about it. Oh, Gibson, cute piggy. So let me just stand back and just show you the cages all together. It's absolutely huge. I probably won't be able to fit it all in. Whew, there we go. So, that's brilliant. My brother is coming home from university in, I think, about three weeks' time. So I'm going to have to dismantle this entire thing and pop it into my room. So that should be interesting. <laughs> I'm really dreading having to take it down because it did take so long to make and to build. So oh, we'll see how it goes. But now that I've done it once, I'm sure I'll be able to do it again. It's just having the patience to do it. That's the thing with me. Oh, I really have to be like in the zone. Like today, I've got so much stuff done with them. Usually, I'll clean their cage, and get them out, and have a cuddle, and that's about it. But today, I've tried to do everything. I've done, you know, the nail cutting, the weighing. Um, they've been outside in the garden, they've been out for cuddles, they've been in their run, they've had some floor time, so I've just done everything today. So, yeah. I can't usually fit it all in in one day, because it is quite time consuming, believe it or not. I know it's only a couple of guinea pigs, but they do take up a lot of time and attention. So, if you are thinking of getting a guinea pig, two preferably, I really do recommend getting two at the very least. Because they are herd animals and they like to live in groups and they do get lonely if they're by themselves. Oh, Gibson's jumped into his little litter tray. I'll jump. I'll go over there now. Uh, but I do recommend that if you do are getting a guinea pig, they're not easy to look after. You can't just leave them in a cage all the time and like a hamster, for instance. Not that I would leave anything in a cage for a long period of time. They need to come out all the time for cuddles. They need to come out every day for floor time. They need to go out in the garden and have some fresh air. And they need loads of attention. They really do. They're not 
to something you can just bung in a corner and just leave there. No way. I, well, no animal is, but especially not a guinea pig. They look like cute little furry animals, but they do rely on you for a lot. So please look after them. And also keep them healthy, feed them lots of veggies, give them the right pellets, lots and lots of hay. Lots of hay, I do recommend. Nice fresh water every day. Lots of nice places to hide. Some tubes, because they love running through tubes. And they really will appreciate you for it, I promise you. So, let me come over here. I hope I don't scare him now. He's in his little litter tray having some hay. Good boy, Gibbs. Greedy piggy. Oh, he's so cute, aren't you? So everybody's really happy. Badge is lying down for sleep. And, oh, yes, yeah, cute. Sorry about my um, zoomer. It has a stupid noise, I know. I don't want to go and disturb them, though. So I thought I'd just zoom in and show you these two. So, yeah, they're back to normal. I don't know what all of that fuss was about a couple of weeks ago, but it's all over now, hopefully. But Monty is a little fighter here. I can believe it. So unlike him. I think he really just had had it up to up to the roof with Stanley bossing him and bullying him around. He just had enough, bless him. I don't blame him either because Stanley was being a little mm, idiot. So I was going to swear then. <laughs> he was being a little terror. That's what he was being. Weren't you? And he knows I'm talking about him. Look. Yes, I'm talking about you. Bossy piggy. No, I think he knows now. He knows that Monty can't be messed with. <laughs> oh, so cute. Anyways, that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you do have any videos that you would like me to make, please let me know. Um, I think that's about it for now. Oh, here we go again. Let's see what he does. Let me just sit down. Oh, I'm bending on my knees at the moment. I'm doing like a, a squat and it's really hurting my legs. Sorry. Right, let me just sit down. Usually they'll just settle down in there together now and just cuddle up in the corner. Yeah, there you go. Monty's going to sleep now. Oh, so cute. So, yeah, that's about it. Let me stand back up. Oh, dear, dear, dear me. Oh, I'm still zoomed in, aren't I? Whoops. <laughs> oh, Gibson. And he's going over to see Badge now. So everybody's really happy. Everybody's friends. The cages are good. And that's about it. So thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.